So because my face kind of looks like it's been through an explosion, I think this is a good time to review Deepwater Horizon, which I believe, at least at the time of my filming this, is still in theaters. So unless you've been living under a rock, you're familiar with the Deepwater Horizon disaster. Yeah, a lot of our environment died, some people died, and it's very, very tragic. So Deepwater Horizon is, of course, the dramamentary of the Deepwater Horizon disaster, the oil drilling platform. It's not an oil well. It's an oil drilling platform that is designed to go out there and start an oil well so a platform can be placed over it. This particular platform had a critical failure because of corporate greed, and this is the story of that. Now, again, I am not here to discuss the disaster itself. This is about the movie, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I really, really liked that movie. Uh, the epitome of evil in this particular film is played by John Malkovich, who is corporate greed. I mean, it's one of those things, it's subtext, it's not wholly established, but the company is pushing to get these wells started because of the concept of peak oil. The peak oil concept is that, you know, there's only so much oil left out there, so oil companies are scrambling to get every last drop of it they can, and this dude's like, hey, we got to get this started. It doesn't matter if it isn't safe. It'll be fine. And, of course, you know, what happens in these movies, every time, every time, this is a standard, uh, standard cliche of disaster movies, is you knew this was going to happen, and then it did. You saw that a lot with Titanic. In fact, many people credit Titanic with being the root of all of these disaster movies. Well, that this film is sort of like Titanic. Everything's blowing up and everybody's trying to get away. Only in this one you get to focus on some more interesting characters, in my opinion. And there's a lot more explosion. And I love explosion, so I love this film. Now, a lot of people like to talk about Kurt Russell in this particular role. I'm going to have to say that Kurt Russell... Whereas he is a very unique actor, this is not a particular role where he gets to shine. There's nothing particularly going on in this role that is a major stretch for Mr. Russell. I can't say, oh, well, he did really great in there. No, I could say that he was a great actor. He is a great actor. He's done a great job here. It's nothing to really, really just put your nose on. It's... People are saying that because we all love Kurt Russell and he's a wonderful actor, but he's kind of still in the same makeup from um, The Hateful Eight. He's got that kind of a vibe going on, and then he's in this movie. And whereas the character, who we assume is at some point a real-life person, has actually gone through this, and that is incredible, and he portrays that character with a stunning uh, level of reality, I mean, I'm totally convinced... It's still Kurt Russell there, and we're remembering him because he's Kurt Russell. Now, Mark Wahlberg is, of course, you know, Marky Mark. He is the main character who looks nothing like the actual guy he's to portray. And, hey, you know what? That's fine. I mean, they gave him a really hot wife. We get sort of a panty scene with her. So that's sort of pandering to the 14-year-old uh, the that still lives within all of us. And I'm cool with that. And as a hero, Wahlberg does really well. I've always enjoyed his actors. He's kind of a very neutral character. But look, he's the vanilla of all, all heroes. So it's like, yes, vanilla is a great thing. In fact, vanilla is so great that it makes your chocolate, uh, your hot chocolate seem better. So, yes, Mark Wahlberg, passable job. Can't have any complaints about it. Do I think it's Oscar worthy? No, I really don't. I don't think he's stretched much as a character. He's sort of your average hero, and that's just what he is. What surprises me about this particular film is that Peter Berg is the director, and he's the guy from Battleship. And when you look at the film Battleship, that's like his most well-known directorial feat, and you think, well, okay, I didn't see Battleship personally, but it was sort of too much Transformers, is what I'm told. And I was told it was a really hated movie, whereas Deepwater Horizon, I have to say, yeah, go see it. You're going to be into it. It's a pretty good movie. It's fast-paced. It's action-filled. It's still really topical. And, you know, I enjoyed every minute of it. There wasn't a particular scene in this film where I was bored 
or anything of that nature. The exposition is not terribly exposition-y. The only thing I can say is that evil is just too evil, and then, you know, all hell breaks loose, and then you forget about how evil evil is. So, yes, this was an excellent movie. It's not a movie I would really say is Oscar-worthy. I think uh, probably best special effects if I had to give it one. But, yes, definitely go see Deepwater Horizon. It is a solid action film, better than most of the popcorn films you will see in cinemas or have ever seen in cinemas, and I totally recommend it. Two thumbs up.